So I'm going to teach you how to beat the optional dragon boss. The optional fire dragon boss here. Let's see. Hit him with a corrosive, a defense down. And we will hit him with a diagonal slash. We'll back up. We'll go into the options, right? We'll go into Ice Chunk. That hitting him for a weakness basically gives you an extra half turn when you do that. So, uh, yeah, okay. I'll hit him. Scratch, 83 damage. Another scratch. So he gets two turns. Right? Unless there's special consideration. So we go to the front row, diagonal slash him, hit him for big damage, take him in the front row, di diagonal slash. We stay away from the slicer because the slicer has a good chance of missing at least one time. So what we'll do actually is we'll use this fairy dust here just to get 250s because we only have this one turn right i could skip my turn by pressing r1 which will give you to use up half a turn and i can rotate to another character to do more damage but i want to use this one turn that i have left to do two healing you know on two different characters i you know i could just do a medicine on one but this just kind of covers me right see how uh, they're nearly top both topped off nearly but not quite he missed. So if you look, he has two bars. He missed. He loses both of his attacks when he misses. So you want to try to get him to miss, which would give you incentive to make an agility build, right? Where you put all your stats into agility, potentially, because that helps with dodging. And it helps with you hitting your target, which gives you more turns. I like luck. Luck gives you criticals. So as you can see, his defense is still down here. So... We're going to actually just keep attacking him two of the times. I'm not going to bother. There we go. So I could move up here in the front and do more damage. But you actually, when you're fighting, the key thing when you're fighting uh, Fire Dragon Mana, right? Is if you all go in one row, whether it's the front or the back, you will probably lose. He punishes you for being in the same row. And he punishes you for not being staggered. He has a move called something like a tail tail swipe or tail, you know, something like that. And it basically hits an entire row. So it will hit the first two people, but it won't hit this person that I'm controlling right now if I'm in the back. If I go in the front, it'll hit all three. So you back up and you just keep attacking. I could top off with another fairy potion. I don't care to just yet. All right, there we go. Now, oh wow, critted. Okay, now we're in trouble. So when you crit, you get more turns as well. So I'm going to keep him in this row here. I'm going to do a... Instead of the fairy dust, I'm going to straight up do a medicine, 100 HP. So when you click that, it typically goes to the person who needs it most, which is Stroll right now. So we'll heal him. We'll keep this guy in the front. We'll also do 100 medicine to Grius. And right here, I'm going to top off with a, another Fairy Dust. You don't have to use those. You can just use normal medicine if you don't have them. It's not a big deal. But I'm just using them because later on, they're kind of pointless. Once you get to higher levels, uh, you need more HP healing later. So, well, you could use them. But All right, back we go again. Get that damage in. He really is not... Uh, his damage is not coming down too much. So what I will do do here is use his corrosive. I'll use another ice chunk to hit that weakness. See, look, we had one turn, but it gave us another turn. It only uses a half turn. So we're getting that extra damage in here. Got a critical, which is insane. Absolute insane damage. We're taking a lot of damage now, so we're going to want to just use a healing round. So we press the R1 to trigger over. I mean, 
You don't really want to use the 50 HP, it's kind of a waste of a turn. You use it if you have to, if you don't have any other, any other choice. Okay, so this is how this triple hero healer class works. Um, let's see. The fire, all of these warriors resist fire damage as well. So anytime he, the dragon decides to do fire, it kind of just doesn't do anything, right? So we can use this here to attack. 127. What I will do is use a medicine. And I will keep trying to attack as much as possible, right? Uh, looks like that didn't do well. I didn't look, but it looked like I missed. So let's see. See the tail? The tail move, the tail attack? It just completely destroys you. So you're lucky there that we actually have a staggered row. The staggered row will help you, for sure. So... We're going to use this entire turn just to heal because that's how I feel like that's how powerful his tail move is. When he does that, you have to respect that he can actually do two tail moves back to back and just end your party. And this is why it's so important to be staggered. So here we don't want to just be healing all the time. We have enough heals that I'm actually going to use everybody here to do damage. Scratch? If he scratches again, I'm in trouble. Alright, we're gonna have to heal. Okay. So, I'll heal here. Heal myself. Heal Grius. And I think we're gonna use Grius here to attack. Hopefully he crits. He doesn't crit. Yeah, I mean, this, this dragon does have quite a bit of health... HP, health pool, right? Health points. Yeah, that was a... That was a gift right there. Gotta keep at it. I'm gonna just keep going. This is gonna be tough because my main character is kind of low. If he double scratches him, we'll be in trouble. There, look at that tail wipe. Holy cow, man. He makes you sit down. So we're gonna just use the 100 HP. Heal everybody real quick. Everybody gets 100 HP. Let's go back at it. Fireball, perfect. I could probably get away with a fairy dust there, or just a normal medicine. I'm gonna... Just do another... Keep doing diagonal slashes as much as I can, because you have to... Yeah, you don't want to... You want to stagger. We'll use the last fairy dust here. Perfect. And then here... Another diagonal slash. 139. He's slowly coming down. He missed. He missed his turns. Crazy. Okay, so here, since I'm in the back row, I definitely don't need to use this ice chunk, but I will just to kind of optimize here. Hopefully this will end him. Yeah, weak. If he crits, that's the end. Nope, he didn't crit. Crit? Nope, but it's the end anyways. We got it. Easy clap. And there you go. That's how you beat the fire dragon.